Good morning, everyone. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to present our project in front of you. Here, we have built a project named Restaurant Finder, where a user is going to give the input of a particular type of cuisine he wants to have. And our system is going to generate the restaurant names according to the input. We have used developer.amazon.com Alexa so that we can have a voice assistant as a recommender. So the user don't have to type or see the output accordingly. Let's start up with the build. So we have started the build by creating a skill named restaurant. In the restaurant, there are few components that you can see. Invocations, interaction module, assets, multimodal responses. So we will start up with the interaction model. Once we get into the interaction model, we are going to go to intents. We here, we have created an intent named restaurant request intent. Let's open to see what we have done here. So once we name our intent as restaurant request intent, we will have to take the utterances. Here, the utterances is something that a user might say to invoke the intent. For example, it is going to be the input of the user after responding to the Alexa. So we have named it as restaurant request intent. Now these are the statements or multiple statements that the user is going to give. So if the user is going to say that I would like to have Indian or Spanish or Italian. Similarly, he might say, instead of I would like to have, I would have, or I will have Italian or Indian. In the same way, he cannot even use anything else. He can just say Indian, Italian, Mexican. Then these kind are the possible possibilities for the user to say that we have integrated so that our system can respond in a way. Once your utterances are built, then these cuisines is a part of a slot. Now these slots are made so that they can carry the values of the type of cuisines that the user might say. So under these slots are going to have the different type of the categories of cuisines. Example, Indian, Italian, Mexican. So we are going to create a slot here. We create a slot by going to the assets and open the slot types. Here you can see that we have created a slot named cuisines. Once we go here, then under the cuisine name, we have created different type of slots. And these slots might be an option by the user that he would like to have a cuisine of. It can be Indian, Spanish, or Chinese. Once you create these kind of slots, then you need to integrate them with your intent that you created. So after saving these slots and click on the save, then we will go to our intent so that we can integrate these slots with our intent. Once you come back to the intent, then the name of intent slots is cuisines that is automatically detected here, but we have to give the slot type for all the possible slots that, that are there in the slot section area. So here we have amazon.aggregate rating, amazon.airline, amazon.airport, but of course we would be taking the values of the cuisines. So we will select these cuisines. As it is selected, then of course we are going to save it. Once we will save it, then our entire intent and slots are going to be saved and evaluated. Now, these two things are the part of the manual implementation required for the front end. Now, let us go to the code so that we can integrate these type 
of cuisines with the intent that we have created along with the code. Once you go to the code here, you would see that we have written the entire code in Python language. So under the Lambda, we have this Lambda function dot py that we have created. So here you will see that we have different type of request handlers. One is launch request handler. That means the launch statement when you are going to open the kind of intent you have at what kind of message will the Alexa respond. So this is the opening window and the class is made accordingly. In the same way, after proceeding to the launch request handler, this class is going to get integrated. And after that whole world intent, whole world, hello world intent handler and help handler and all these classes are intended. Once they are intended, then these classes needs to be called here in the bottom. So we have called launch request handler, food request intent handler, hello world intent handler, and all these. Now let us get to the class that we have created so that we can make this food assistant model and integrate our database using the API JSON. Here we have created a class food request intent handler where we are asking it to define and handle with the handler input. And of course, the intent that we have created would be taken with this line, ask.utils.intent name with whatever intent name the user has created. As we created the restaurant request intent, so we will be putting this here. After that, we have to define our handler as well for the slots that we have created of different type of cuisines like Indian, Mexican, and Italian shown before. So we are going to have a request for the intent in slots that we have created. As we created it with cuisine's name, so this entire cuisine is going to, the entire slots of the cuisines is going to go in the variable name. Now name is carrying the slots and here it is already connected with our intent. For the integration of the database and the information, we have used JSON and the JSON dictionary has been brought up by foodpuka.com. So our API JSON implementation is used with this foodbooker.com in which there is a dictionary in the form of JSON from which it has fetched the data and using it afterwards that I will be showing you. So we have created a variable API URL from which you from the URL we are fetching the data from. Our data is the list of the restaurants accordingly. Now this response is going to uh, this uh, response is going to be fetched from the API URL in the variable response to make sure that we have the list of the restaurants we have created a string value and named it as named it as restaurants we have created cuisine so that whatever response we have got in the form of JSON can be stored in it now of course there are going to be a lot of restaurants in these cuisine restaurants that we have created, right? So we will iterate each restaurant to, in the entire list of restaurants that we have. So we have implemented for loop here and we are going to compare our slot name or the cuisines that we have created, Indian, Mexican, Italian, and compare the name with the rest string that is named in the dictionary as a restaurant in this API JSON. Once we are going to fetch the name of it, if it is going to be the same, then we are going to append it in our string value 
of restaurants so that we can have the entire list of the restaurants in this particular variable. As we have got the list of the restaurants stored in, re stored in this variable restaurants that we have created, we are going to ask the Alexa to reply to the user by using these list of rest restaurants based on this input. Now, generally, we use speak output as a speech of Alexa. So if the user is asking that I would like to have Indian, then the speak output is going to give the result that the recommended restaurants are going to be these restaurants that we have fetched from the database here that is linked to this API URL from we have fetched the data. Once this speak output is going to get done, then it is going to return the value of a speak output as a response. Now to implement this entire class that we have created, we need to call the cl every class that we have created as an intent handler with the skill builder that is created in this Python class. So we have created our food request intent handler as a class and we will call it so that it can be integrated with the skill builder and then we can just run it. Once it is going to get deployed, once you click on deploy, once the deployment is done, then we can test it accordingly. So for our testing, we are going to open the food store assistant. Let us see what it says. Once you will open it and click enter. Okay, so as we open our food assistant, Alexa is asking us that, can you say hello or help? or which cuisine would you like to try? It is the same output or the speak output that is uh, that, that we have done in the code as an opening window request handler. If I ask Alexa that I would like to have Indian today, then it should give us the desired Indian restaurant accordingly. So if I just click enter, then see, it gives the output for the recommended restaurants as Punjab in Mineola, Royal Trangra Masala, and Southern Spice. These are the recommended restaurants by the Alexa. And these, this is exactly the same command that we also created in our code here. If you see, as our launch request handler, it said, welcome. Can you say hello or help? Which cuisine would you like to have? The same may happen here. And once you click on, once you just type any of the cuisines, it is going to give the output accordingly from foodbooker.com as we have implemented here. We have learned a lot of things from alexandeveloper.amazon.com and we are really much upskilled with this so that we can integrate Alexa. Nowadays, people are facing problem by typing or they don't want to put so much effort by writing their input. But Alexa helps and minimizes the hard work and the effort for which this skill is really important to integrate in any, any of your application so that the user effort can be reduced and it, it can be more optimized. So there is our project and a live demo of it. Thank you.